Problem number two, we want to find the horizontal and vertical asymptotes of what we have here of this equation. Well, if you remember horizontals, that catchy phrase, Bobo Botten eats DC. Okay, so what does it mean? B-O-B, -B, bigger on bottom, Y is going to be zero. If it's bigger on top, you're going to have no... So there'll be none, there won't be one. And if exponents are the same, we're gonna divide the coefficients. Let's see what we have. We have x to the first, x squared. Is the exponent, the power of the exponent, bigger on top or bigger on bottom? It's bigger on bottom, so we're gonna use this. Bigger on bottom, it's at y is zero. So the horizontal is a line drawn right on the x-axis at y equals zero. The vertical. The vertical is what the denominator, we basically set it equal to zero because we're finding the x's that you're not allowed to use because at that spot on the graph, if x can't be a two, I'm gonna draw this right like that. I'm gonna draw that asymptote right at x being two saying, hey, right here's an asymptote because you never can plug that x value in. You never can, the line will never touch there. So what multiplies together to give you two, yet adds to give you three because again, it's a trinomial, so it's gonna factor down to a what? x plus 1, x plus 2. And we're looking for where does this guy give us a 0? Well, you just set the x plus 1 equal to 0 and solve it. Set the x plus 2 equal to 0 and solve it, and you'll have your answers, which are it will happen when x is negative 1 and when x is negative 2. So we're going to end up having two vertical asymptotes, in this case, at negative 1 and at negative 2. There's going to be two of them there.